It's hard to go 12-15 with nobody even guarding you right under the bucket. As we get set, Duke in their home whites and Coastal Carolina in their teal green. What are you going with? Right I'm now? going with teal. I think teal is the official color. Sweet. Duke, early drive. Going to the basket was Jackson. Extra pass. And Alyssa as Donovan will go to the line. Since she's been here at Duke, and uh, Jada Donovan's one to watch. She's an ESPN top impact freshman. 83-53 to 53 win over Richmond. Coincidentally, in just kind of a random stat, Georgia Tech beat Coastal Carolina by the same identical score, 83-53. to 53. we got to play the lottery tonight on that one, right? Long distance shot off the front of the rim. Coastal Carolina led by Kevin Pedersen now in his second season. Of course, Duke led by Kara Lawson. Good to spend time with Coach Pedersen. He's a bright light. What a great guy. And he's a great coach. He has 444 wins as a head coach, almost a 70% winning percentage. I mean, he's done a great job, and we'll talk a little bit more about him later. Three from deep. And the biggest player out there, Kennedy Brown, at six foot six, makes it look easy. Three nothing, Duke. Blue Devils really want to establish themselves as a three point threat. And Kennedy Brown, the transfer from Oregon State last season, one of the returning, one of two returning starters for this Blue Devil team. Little pinch post action by Coastal Carolina, well defended by the Blue Devils. And when you're in that pinch post, you got to hug that ball and squeeze it. And Kennedy Brown gets a hand on it, knocks it loose, sets up that three, and the offensive board. And there's Jaden Donovan, the freshman. Without question, the number one staple of a Kara Lawson basketball team. And they turn it into two. It's 5-0, and they cause another turnover. Could not give Duke second shot opportunities tonight. Duke already two for three from the floor. Another three and money. I feel like that was one that Coach Pedersen was willing to give away. We'll see if they step out. On the outlet, extra pass for deep. Jackson rolls around the rim. Offensive rebounds. And up and in for Donovan. That's going to be a timeout for Coach Pedersen. This is exactly what he did not want to do. Really enjoyed talking with him today. Yeah, he said his family always made the Myrtle Beach area where Coastal Carolina is located a vacation destination, and it was one of his three choices, the only three that would leave Lander. He wouldn't give us the other two, but he's settled in at Coastal Carolina. Richard Brown there, I think you got to do a heat check. Said she's going to drive to the basket and she'll go to the line and shoot two. Brown, a career 70. The late, great Pat Summit. Uh, she's one of three NCAA Division I basketball coaches to play in a Final Four, win an Olympic gold medal, and win a WNBA championship. One of the most respected players in the game. And in she's a 6'4 freshman. Uh, he said she's super skilled. He said she had a bunch of Power 5 offers, and she chose to come to Coastal, so he's really excited about what she brings to the team. And there's another drive to the basket. Oh, well, she's a freshman. McDonald's All-American nominee. She scored over 3,000 points in high school, so she knows how to put the ball. From Duke to initially break it. Now they'll set up their offense. A double high post set. Kennedy Brown's wow. feeling it. A couple feet in from the three-point line, but same stroke. She's got eight. That's great footwork. A little reverse pivot faces up and knocks it down. Let's see what Stack can do. Step back deep. That's a nice shot. I thought we might have to have our producer Chad Lampman come down and get that ball out of that hoop. No problem, though. Brown finally misses. Stack with the rebound. Well, it's Riley Stack in there at 6'4". She's going to make things a little bit more difficult under the basket for Kennedy Brown. Another step back smooth from Richardson. She's starting to settle in. Coach said she was a big time guard. Cut this lead to eight. Donovan, Brown, left hand. Good defense from Stack, the freshman ready. They turned it over six times already, Debbie. 
Almost seven. Which looked like Duke was going to run out of the gym with this one. Coach Pedersen called the timeout, kind of let his team have it a little bit, and I think he told them to crash the boards. First free throw not there, second one. She gives them a lot of length and, and depth and great on the glass. Duke shooting 43%. That's a tough shot to make and make it look easy as Jackson. Again, Chanticleer is just probing the defense, trying to get into the paint. Comes up short. Here comes Duke in transition. Right at the elbow. Jackson, who started the transition, now will get the play call from Coach Lawson. Emsbo, number 21, is into the game. That's a deep three, and that's... Nice opportunity to see some of these very talented freshmen for Duke. Shot clock violation. She looks like a stat stuffer. I think she's going to produce some big numbers here at Duke. Coach Lawson always runs a ton of players through. Another rebound. offensive rebound. Jackson. Yes. Ashlyn Jackson with eight points already in this game. Yeah, the transfer portal hit Duke as well as they saw some players. Coach Lawson wants her team to be disruptive with their defense, and right now they are doing just that. Emsbo is fouled. She'll go to the line. It's got to be nice for the Duke coaching to staff to see what a variety of scoring weapons they have. Hemsbo had eight in that opening win. She's going to get called for the foul. We're going to need her to step it up in this game. They want to stay in it. Seven point two seconds remaining here in the first. Both. Jackson. Extra pass and a good one. They get it off in time. But off the back. Duke back to back buckets and the turnovers and the offensive rebounds are just really killing him right now. Brown, who's three for five, gives up a great pass. And Jackson now with ten, tying Brown for the leading scores in the game, both in double digits. Speaking of tens. Attacking the basket is number 10, Carter. Carolina is being forced to take right now. That was Brown who caused that difficulty. And it's Jackson's night. On Monday night, it was all Reagan Richardson with 28 points. And she's on the bench right now with two fouls. So in comes sophomore Ashlyn Jackson. And she's just having a great game as well. Brown. For a year at Tennessee State. It's an all Sun Belt third team selection. They need her to exert her passion in this game. And another missed free throw. That's going to go off Brown. Eleven to three is the foul territory. That's a good drive to the basket, right down the middle, and the finish there from Carter. You see the explosiveness of the freshman, Delana Carter. Nice handoff off the high post. They needed that bucket. Tie up. Possession arrow belongs to Coastal. It's a really interesting. He wants to be a team that people have to prepare to play. Nice little back cut off the high post. That's going to be, oh, they're going to call a foul. Look like the travel. Right now, they've taken eight free throws to Duke six, and that's what Coach Pedersen talks about. He talked about the free throw. Free throw now it's going to go into this zone. Mayor. Loose ball scramble. Good hustle there from Carter. Six players for Duke with two fouls. And we've got six minutes to play. For them to get into a rhythm. No, they had ten players who averaged 13 minutes or more. They had seven different leading scorers over the course of the season. They had so much depth. 
very different Duke team this season, but some really nice pieces that we're getting to see in these first two games. Yeah, and they have that same defensive mentality. Tiana Mayer sent to the free throw line. We talked about her, the transfer Six from and a half assists and almost two steals a game as a freshman. I mean, that one of the one of the top in the country. I think there were only two other players that did that. Pulled out of the air by Carter. Carter can push it, and she'll go to the line. You know, I love you talking about her 3,000 points. Then I've seen her do it over and over again today. Stone, and you'll maybe get to see a little bit of the interesting slides. They have great weak side rebound, a little dance on the line there. Good rebound. Thomas gets bailed out by Cable. She played on the U19 Canadian team. Another more role player for Duke last year than we expect this game. And coaches, like we said, they're still learning what lineups do getting a lot of opportunity tonight to work on their full court pressure. Char Abron, the junior from Mississippi, has checked in for the Chanticleers. The trail 34 to 15 with 445 remaining. And another 15 fouls called against her Duke team. Players and points though. Seeing those guys. And she's got three rebounds. Doing a little bit of everything. That's it. Middle and opposite. Right through the press. See what Duke's able to do against this zone. Extra pass. And Gable for three. Force the turnover. Here comes the Chanticleers. And a layup. Finish from Freeman. Emsbo was posting up and good defense. Cable. Carter hangs in the air, gets it out to Freeman. Freeman drives in, up and in. Wow, that's a nice job sharing the basketball. It's a little shot fakes, catch and attack. Staying in the zone. Good ball movement by Duke. Woo. Eight for 17 from behind the arc for Duke. One more than their total against Richmond. And we're only halfway in. Yeah, that's your a sophomore year makes a tremendous difference in how much you can learn and how much you can improve. And we're seeing that from some of these returning players today. Yeah, Cable only played in four games last year. Wow, that's a great move to the basket. On the defensive end. Credit to Chanticleers with their ability to keep attacking the defense and trying to get to the rim. Nice play drawn out. Perhaps we'll see more of that. Nice behind the back dribble there from Mayer. What a good finish. Boy, that shot she has not made. It's been the deep shot that has been there for Brown. Speaking of deep shots, tremendous shot there. Big bucket for her team. 47 to 26. I like the energy Coastal's come out with. You see these just very unique slides in the defense and another three. Carter takes some contact. Good hustle from Coastal Carolina. Great hustle from Coastal. They're not backing down. They just continue to attack the defense. Here Lawson. Send in a Kanawha. Ball screen, fade screen, well defended. Just an errant pass there by Richardson. She's listed at 5'9". Just tenacious on the board. Just gives Duke a nice all-around another good solid guard inside out. Kennedy Brown finding her teammates, showing her passing ability. You talked about how good of a passer Brown is. She was thinking pass even before she got the ball. She has great vision. She just knows where everybody is. Wow, nice take. Steal for Cable. Brown. There you go. She has to have that part and she finishes at the bucket. Ten points for Kennedy Brown. Yeah, you really want her to be able to establish her presence in the post. We know she can step out and shoot the three. We know she's a great passer. The lob pass over the top works. 12 points, I said 10. She's on the Lisa Leslie preseason watch list. 20 players, best center in the country. Second. Of 
she can shoot at a high percentage from three. That'll really open up the court for the Duke Blue Devils and all this variety of talent for Duke. Cable, yes, Cable. Carter all by herself. Nice backside rebound. They continue to extend their defense. Long distance shot. Jackson, yes. And another one for Jackson. Four for eight from behind the arc, and that is 12 for 24 for the Blue Devils, but there is the end. Nice little three-point barrage going on. 12 for Duke, three for Coastal Carolina. Hemsbo away, and Carol Lawson loved it. It completely eliminated the fact that, as you said, the pass was an errant pass, everything but the finish. Thomas had position for a moment. Jackson sets her feet. Yes. Right after we talked about she's the only player without a point for Coach Lawson. 66 to 34. And here's the other irony of this game. In the opener, we talked about Richardson and Okanawa. They combined for 50 points. Right now they combined for five. <laughs> Stop her. You can't do that against Duke. Nine for 19. Woods also got good size. That's a nice finish. From and and in, in the game against, game against Richmond, she started, but she didn't score. Nice transition. Look at that. A lot of speed and athleticism on this Duke team. They like to get out and run in transition. We saw a lot of that the other night against Richmond. That's the first day of practice, the weave right there, right? Right out of gates. Kept alive. Good awareness. Stepping behind for three. Good rebound. Donovan bringing it here. Or Coach Lawson backing down. Up with the left. Now she's showing you a little bit of what she's got in her tool belt. She can score outside. She can score inside. A tall guard who can post up and finish around the rim. Three-time gold medalist with USA Basketball, Jaden Donovan. Kanjay. It's a great job, Kanjay, just beating a slower defender to the rim from the high post. Duke's getting a little sloppy right now, and just because you've got a significant lead, okay, why not? There it is. Wood with the three. 6-4 freshman, the last one to get in the stat sheet. <laughs> Why not another three-point shot? That's nice defense by Reagan Richardson. She's back in the game. It's going to go out of bounds. Wood was coming for the high screen, but Brown said she's got it. Yeah, that's a oh, good idea. Boy, that looked perfect. Brown lost it. Good hands from Duke is Abron, the junior. Go down low, taken away by Wood. Wood. Riley Stack trying to get that pass over the top. Wood with the great defense. And the pass, too. Assist Wood opener at Richmond hasn't played a lot in this one due to foul trouble so it's been Ashlyn Jackson who stepped up and gotten it done but she gets the ball in her hands and she knocks it down you know, these are all players last year who didn't play as many minutes because Duke Duke's, and they're stepping into it nicely stepping into the three nicely as well That's a tough shot. Wow, just working off that high post one way, taking away back the other way. I mean, it's tough to get your feet set coming back to your left. And a steal by Duke. Stack tries for the block. Defense jumps out in front, go the other way. Kennedy Brown with a nice handoff. Double-double in her opening game. Worcester Academy, number 27th ranked recruit by ESPN in, this, in the class. 
going to go out of bounds. For a lob pass to Brown, right back in to the inbounder. Just going to see Brown just establish her presence down there. Post up that freshman, get the ball. She loves to operate out of the pinch. Now she's going to take her off the dribble. Ooh. There we go. Nice little spinning in. Kennedy Brown fronting the post, not letting it in there. Nice deflection, good footwork, get around. Yeah, they're battling down low, and Brown is winning that. That's a good runner. Give Abron credit. Opportunity to shoot her third shortly thereafter, but decided not to. Goes to Carolina going the other way. They trip and fall. Pick back up by Duke. Duke's got numbers here. Runner in and out. Rebound Brown. Finish Brown. There she goes. Seeing the quickness of Wood here as she gets a good run in the final quarter from Coach Lawson. Get that shot to win the national championship for Notre Dame. Diana Tarasi. So if you get a chance, make sure you get out to Cameron on Sunday. What a treat we will have to have. She's so tenacious on the glass. I just like to see a little more power in the paint, whether it's posting up on the offensive side of the ball, or grabbing some rebounds. Wood thought about a shot. Jackson. Goes to Carolina. Go the other way. And giving you all the fine pictures, our camera operator, Anthony Hanaj. And we mentioned Coach K earlier. We've got our seven-footer, Mark Dry, also on the camera. Shot in. Jackson just keeps adding points to her tally. 25 on the night. 10 of 15, Debbie. Five for nine from behind the arc. Two assists, three rebounds. Only one turnover. That's a nice stat. Looking for that high-low, able to get it and finish it for Ramsey, the freshman. Your thoughts on what you saw here from Duke? This was a really nice offensive performance by the Blue Devils. Everybody scored, all 10 players. Four players in double figures, 25 by Jackson, 14 threes. The Devils shoot 47%, and they hold Coastal Carolina to under 30%. So a lot to be happy about, but also a lot of things to work on for both teams. Saw the handshake there with Carol Lawson.